<laughs> Sad lunch. Between Daniel and Connor, it's probably one of the more talented daily basketball teams in basketball. Oh, I'm oh yours, yours was pretty good. Me, me, yeah, Mike, that's, Mark, that's and that. Ethan Connor, yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? Mike would give dash buckets. <laughs>
like is like having coach house or like a very poor man. Also, yeah, yes. Right. Really? Danny's a guard. Danny's really good. Danny's a guard. If he had like a little more athletic, he'd come to the place. Really? is always the same as far as making sure um, their bigs or any big that we face uh, make us catch us tough. Uh, give credit to our bigs. We did a really, really good job of buying into the game plan, uh, being ahead of the play, uh, making you know, every shot that we took could test the shot. Uh, yeah, we also got into foul trouble, so that helped as well because offensively our bigs are John as well as Austin was attacking them offensively. So, uh, Coffee's one of the elite players in this league. Steve? You want I, Isaiah got quite an ovation coming in for the first time and, and, and gave you a lift and then obviously had, had, a, had a, rough, a rough setback. Talk about what you were able to tell him afterwards and also how maybe he approached you about throwing that pass at the end of the game. Well, um, unfortunately for Isaiah, you know, he went out with an injury and the injury obviously is uh, day to day. So, uh, as you get treatment with our training staff, medical team, uh, 
we pray that he comes back healthy, uh, 110%. His effort out there was great. Uh, energy from the crowd when his name was called just shows how much he's a huge part of his team's success. So it's good just to see our fans to recognize uh, Isaiah and his efforts when he was playing. You know, he was playing at a high level. Um, when we had that possession at the end of the ball game, uh, I wanted to have one of my best guys who can inbound the ball to make a pass. And he asked if he could come in. And, uh, as you see, I insert him in a ball game. And he delivered a pass on time on target. Ashley. Juan, David was getting kind of emotional talking about Isaiah, just saying, you know, he's a better person than a basketball player and that it's tough to see him go down again because he knows how badly he wanted to be out there. Just what were the emotions like, I guess, as the group after the game or in the game after Isaiah got hurt there in the second half? And what were the emotions from Isaiah? Well, you, you can just see the silence, not only just from the crowd, but from our, our bench. Uh, all the players looked at Isaiah as he fell to the floor. Uh, first thing that I saw, I thought it was possible, his wrist. Uh, but then when I noticed, and I sort of like you know, grabbed that area near uh, where he was uh, injured previously, I said, well, unfortunately for him, uh, you know, no one really deserved to be hurt, but that happens. It happens in, in sports. So um, our, our guys band together like brothers. Uh, said, that, of course, we're going to do it for him win this ball game for him, and that's the beauty of uh, having a locker room of guys who are truly a close-knit family. And, you know, that, as a coach, you know, that's, that's something that I get a little teary-eyed, just, you know, seeing our, our, our players are so all in, uh, fight for one another, care for each other, uh, enjoys each other's success. Uh, I, I'm just fortunate to have a group like this. Joan, what makes Io so difficult to defend? Well, Io is a, he's been playing some good basketball in his last uh, few games. Uh, thinking back to his last game at Purdue, uh, very crafty player, uh, does a really good job of getting to his right hand, finishing you know, with, in traffic. Uh, he's also good at with a pull up jumper. Uh, they, they run some ball screens with him, and he's very crafty in using the ball screen. And just so happened today, Every player has it in sports. Sometimes you'll have a great night, and he had a great night. The last shot that he took was contested isolation. And I give him credit, he made it. After the game in Champaign, you mentioned that he made a joke to you about being undefeated against Chicago Vocational. Uh, did you get a chance to catch up with him after today's game? No, I did not. A lot of his tone was good game. Andrew? Juwan, did you, I mean, did you expect them to isolate I.O. like that? No, I did not. I did not expect it at all. I expect this is some type of, you know, wrinkle or uh, high ball screen. Uh, George, it looked like he was about to run up and set a ball screen, but then he paused for a second. And it just one four flat. Kind of remind me of, of the Oregon game with Doug Pritchard. And their coach said, you know, you couldn't play any better defense than that, and he just hit a great shot. I guess, would you, would you agree? Or? I totally agree. Well played, great defense by uh, Xavier. Uh, we got handball contests, so when he makes a shot like that, it's on me. It's not on Xavier, it's on me. So, uh, please, all the folks out there, uh, social media, uh, it, it's not his fault. It's not Xavier's fault why he made a shot. Blame me. Franz was in here kind of bummed about the free throws he and his teammates missed down the stretch. I guess as a coach, how do you kind of process a loss like that where there, you know, that was a factor? It hurts. It hurts with everyone. Uh, um, the hardest part in sports uh, when you are coaching uh, 18 through 22 year olds, um, they really love the game of basketball. They're passionate about the game. That's what makes coaching so special on this level because they're impressionable, they, they craving for more knowledge, they want to get better, they're looking for the right leader to, to, tr to trust them. And, um, the sad part about coaching from 18 to 22 is that 
you come in at a game like this and you lose it and you see nothing but red eyes. And you know that heads are down. There have been some crying that has been involved in the locker room. And it hurts you as a coach because I feel like I let them down. And that's the worst feeling ever. And so I'm just proud of our guys and how they compete. And something special is headed for them. I, I believe it. I trust it. And um, the beauty of this sport is that it's a, it's a tough sport. At times, it will bring you to your knees, but it also will define your character. How do you um, pick your team up now? Because it's four losses in a row, and you don't know about Isaiah Livers going forward, and yet you very easily could have won today with some free throws. How do you how do you keep your team? believing that things are still possible, even possibly without leverage? Well, there's a coach that uh, I played this game before, and I've been through those experiences. Um, I haven't won every ball game when I was playing on a high school, collegiate level, um, on, in a park district, or on a professional level. So um, my thing and my job is to keep coaching them up and uh, keep believing this group to keep this group connected and that's not hard to do because we have a bunch of high character guys uh, that are super competitive that is passionate about the game of basketball and that they want an opportunity so I know they want to play tomorrow I know they wish they could play tomorrow Got time for a couple more Ashley uh, Juwan you guys out rebounded them by three uh, combined nine points for Kofi and Georgie just how happy were you how they did in the battle down low today I was very happy with our defense also was happy with offensively that we were able to <clears throat> only cost, well, we only committed two turnovers. So that was all time high for us. Uh, unfortunately, on the offensive end, we, we missed a ton of threes. Uh, we shot 23.5% to 34 for 17 from the three point line. Uh, defensively, uh, we were able to you know, win the paint points, um, one second chance points. Calls five, what was it, what was it? Uh, eight turnovers. Um, a big thing with Illinois is offensive rebounds. You know, we held five offensive rebounds. It's unfortunate for us. Uh, we, we didn't do a good job of making our free throws. Zach, you want to close this up? You mentioned the shooting uh, just now, I guess. Are you seeing anything? It seems like the whole team outside shooting is in a slump. Is there anything you can do in these next couple days? Oh, we get in the gym and we'll continue to keep you know, coaching them up and developing them. And as we have open shots, I want our guys to keep taking Keep feeding confidence. Okay, coach, let's do it.
I just don't go to that. Is he going to do run me down in my car? Right. That's not a bad idea. He has a one last one. fucking year the message boards no it's all beeline's fault <laughs> fucking changes by the day I thought you wanted to do it so much better now it's you know we can play and now it's Juwan's fault now it's beeline's fault like fuck off alright what's up what's up Wilson
down by one, cash is going one on one baby. You're going to miss it. You think about it eventually, but. <laughs> You're already here, brother. Tom's calling. <laughs> There was a 